Oh gosh, that, that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh no, oh no, this might be the end. I think this is the end, guys. Hello everyone, what's up? J Wisp here and welcome to episode 4 of the 1.16 Hardcore Let's Play. I hope you all are having a good day. I hope you all are staying healthy in these hard times right now. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the episode. But before I really start doing stuff, I just want to say, at the time I'm recording this and uploading this video, um, I'm at like 99,500 subscribers, so <laughs> the day after I upload this, we should be on course to hit 100,000 subscribers. So even though I'm not quite there yet, I just wanted to say thank you guys and <laughs> just let you guys, guys know that you truly do mean a lot to me. It's been crazy, it's been an awesome journey. I have a lot of stuff planned for 100,000 subscribers. Um, as soon as I hit it, I'll start working on the video and it'll probably be up in like two or three days. Uh, I'll be doing like a Q&A, face reveal, all that type of stuff. Even though I've done a face reveal before, it seems like a lot of people still want one because it wasn't like an official face reveal video. But <laughs> anyways, I, again, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Hope you all are doing fine with this whole virus situation there's a lot going on but anyways let's get into today's episode all right so towards the end of the last episode we got ourselves some diamonds three to be exact and what i want to do with that is make a diamond pickaxe and use that to mine some obsidian so that we can head into the nether now normally in a hardcore world i don't go to the nether until i have diamond armor but i feel pretty safe i feel pretty secure in my abilities and also if we check in my chest really fast i do have a ton of gold so what I'm gonna do before I try to go to the nether is try to get some apples from some of the trees around here I'm sure it'll take a while as long as I get one or two apples I'll be fine and then from that hopefully we can go to the nether with some golden apples and I think the golden apples will keep us safe I think it'll prevent us from dying and if we do somehow fall into lava or something like that I think it should protect us well, I honestly have only cut down a few trees and we already got one apple, so we're making good progress because I looked it up and I, I never really searched for apples, so I didn't know the drop rate was so low, but it turns out that the actual drop chance is about one in every 200 leaves, so I'd have to chop down a decent amount of trees before I can expect to find an apple, but we- No way. I swear to- wait, I swear to god, I'm over here. I- <laughs> What? Did that just... It just came out. Okay, well, honestly, I don't know. Maybe maybe they... I don't know. 1.14 made it so that trees kind of drop sticks and stuff when they decay. I don't know. Maybe they drop apples at higher rates now. I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird because I checked on the Minecraft Wikipedia. And it says, on average, about one in every 200 oak or dark oak trees. Or, sorry, leaves, not trees. So... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to take two. I feel like that's all I need. If I go through both of them, then I'll head back to the overworld. But I really don't feel like I'll need two. They're kind of just in case. Um, most likely what I'll probably use it for is just in case I fall into lava. I'll eat one, start swimming to shore if I don't make it on time, eat another one. And I should be pretty much okay. Yeah, here's some of the trees I cut down before. No apples from them. So I don't know. Maybe that was just a lucky tree and it gave me two apples, but uh, <laughs> anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to craft some golden apples and then I need to head back down into my mine and hopefully find some obsidian and then from there collect 10 pieces of obsidian and also I need to get some flint for flint and steel so we can light the portal and we can head there. But what I'm super excited about is I'm not just heading to the normal nether. Again, this is 1.16. I'm playing on the 1.16 snapshot. So that means we also get to explore a little bit of the newer nether. So I think that's pretty cool. And another reason I kind of have this rush for the nether. I know it's kind of a scary and hard place. But I want to try to get some ancient debris um, and netherite pretty early on that way I can really get that really good armor super early in the game and then hopefully it'll help keep us alive for a very long time so there we go two golden apples now we just have to search for some obsidian all right so I'm down in the mine I got the obsidian I need I actually got two more pieces than I need for a portal but the reason for that is because I want to make an enchanting table in the future actually I think I need three for an enchanting table, right? I should probably get one more. Uh, this was actually all lava right here, but what I've just been doing is I've been replacing it with water just to make sure I don't burn and die. I actually accidentally fell in the lava once, <laughs> and I got pretty scared, but I jumped out right in time, uh, and thankfully, I didn't die. But anyways, we have our obsidian, and now I just need to search for gravel, find some flint and steel, and we can head into the nether. Alright, so we got everything we need, so I'm going to head down this little mountain here, and I'll just build 
the portal at its base. So let's grab our, our stuff. And I think we're good to go. I'm a little nervous, honestly, to go to... Oh, of course, I had to misplace a block. I'll get it later. I'm a little nervous to go just because I'm scared of dying. I've died in the nether before in a hardcore world, but... It's Minecraft. I never learn my lesson. I always make the same dumb mistakes, so... <laughs> I really don't care. I'm hoping I'll be... Okay. Oh. Uh... Maybe not. Okay, what, why, we're at Y level 81. We might need to dig down. Oh, I forgot they changed the sound effect for mining netherrack. Oh, it sounds so weird. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn on my subtitles. See if I can hopefully hear some sort of humming or some kind of animal like a zombie pigman or a piglin or a hoglin making noise. Hopefully find it because I don't just want to be digging here for hours without finding anything. So I'm going to try to find something of interest and I'll let you guys know. Alright, so I was digging and I found this and I don't think there's any clear way to actually... Let's head over to this wall, get down slowly. I was just going to jump and go for it. But actually, if you look at my subtitles on the right, you can occasionally see it'll say something along the lines of like a ghost scream or something like that. And it might be too quiet in the video, but there's so many weird and creepy and bizarre sounds happening in the nether. I forgot they added all of the new sound effects. And it's honestly pretty scary. Like, <laughs> I got a little freaked out for a second by some of the noises, but... Let's listen around here. Oh, we got the cool new blue fire. All right, let's collect some of this. What is this soul sand? Oh, this is soul soil. Let's collect some soul soil and some soul sand. I want to bring back just a variety of different blocks to the overworld when we head there. Um, just for potential building ideas. Even if I don't grab enough to actually build anything useful, uh, it'll still be good to kind of experiment around with a few things. So I'm going to grab some basalt. I probably won't use too much basalt by itself, but if you put it in a furnace, you can kind of smooth it out, and it looks really nice. Uh, and oh, we have some... Alright. We have some bones. Oh, they changed the sound effect for bones, okay. Yeah, I don't know if this will really be useful for anything, but I mean, hey, we can make tons of bone meals. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll probably collect some just in case I'm a little low on food, which I actually am low on food right now, so uh, <laughs> I'll keep it for that. Uh, let's check what else. I want to do something with the blue fire, though. I got to use the soul soil, make some sort of fireplace with the blue fire. I think it looks so cool. Um, ooh, also, we have a little bit of the new nether gold, which I, I think looks really good. I think the way they designed it to be in the nether, it looks good. How many ingots do we get from that one? We got three. Uh, we got two. Okay, we're, we're getting a good amount. I'm going to grab just a little bit here. It's not, you know, nearly as good as mining gold ore on the surface, but it's still, you know, it's still fun. It's a new block. It's cool. It's fun to explore. Uh, all right, we got a ghast up there. There's a skeleton right up there. I want to be careful. Let's try to explore around here. I don't just want to find one biome. I want to see if I can check out some of the other biomes while I'm here. Uh, I mean, even though I've checked out a lot of the biomes in a lot of the snapshot videos I've done, I haven't really taken the time to officially really just, you know, sit down in an actual survival world and really explore and check some stuff out. So let's go around here and see if we find anything cool. Oh god, the gas, the gas is trying to shoot me. No! Oh, I gotta try to kill the gas. We have to get the achievement. I love the sound it makes when you get the really special achievements, like the purple ones. It has a really cool sound effect. Alright, I gotta try to aim this. Oh no, I missed! No! Okay, wait, let's get down. I want to keep the higher ground though, so I need to get up on top of this hill. Gotta make sure. Come on, Gast. Okay. No, I, I, I'm trying to hit it, but I can't. Oh, there's two Gasts. This might have been a mistake coming here. Oh, gosh. Uh, alright. Okay. I can't keep up with this. Oh, wait, maybe? Oh, no, we were close. I gotta get him. Come on. Come for me. Can we just attack it with our sword? Oh, we were close. I need to get a bow and arrow. That would be really useful right now. Come on, shoot me. Come on, do it. Oh, no, that would have been close. Come on. <laughs> the double gas battle. I'm being really dumb not going back to my portal right now. But I'm determined to fight them. I gotta fight back. I'm no, I'm no wimp. If they challenge me to a battle, I'll take it. Why are they running away from me? Guests never do that. They always come for me. What? I'm kind of intrigued. Do they change ghast mechanics in 1.16? Seems like they're just kind of... I mean, I don't mind that they're just trying to mind their business, but... I mean, I didn't I didn't want to provoke them in the first place. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. I kind of wanted to get a ghast here, too. I think that would have been cool. All right, let's try to get up here. Get safe. Get hiding under something. Eat a piece of cooked mutton. I don't have a lot of food, so I can't stay here too long. 
but I want to try to get to some of the other parts of the nether, like I said. So we have this part up here. I think as long as we kind of keep some sort of cover around us or above us, we should be pretty safe. Uh, I'm not too scared. Uh, let's see what's over here. More Soul Sand Valley. I'm actually surprised this Soul Sand Valley was one of the first biomes we spawned in because when I was doing some testing on my own, it seemed like this was the rarest biome, and no matter how hard I looked, I seemed to have a lot of trouble finding this biome, which was pretty weird. Okay, there's also a ton of ghasts here. Why are there so many ghasts? This is crazy. Okay, got one. Return to center. There we go. That's the only achievement I wanted. Oh, God. There's so many ghasts. I just want to take a screenshot of that. Because there's one there, one there, one there. Come on, you want to fight? He's just in the lava. Okay, got that one. I don't really care that much about getting the gas tears right now. I'm just trying to survive. Okay, looks like we have a lot of skeletons too. I should actually probably avoid them because skeletons have really good accuracy and really good damage in hardcore. Let's try to build a bridge over this little lava pit here. Only if we can get far enough away from the skeletons. And see if we can head to the other part of this little... This little landmass here. Okay, here. We don't actually need to bridge. We can just walk past. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh, God. I'm just going to try to avoid them at all costs now. I don't I don't want to fight. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing before. It seemed like they were running away from me almost. So, I don't know if they just have different mechanics now and they're just less aggressive or what's going on with them. But, this is kind of weird. Uh, anything up here? Maybe. Is it a dead end? Yeah, it is a dead end. Okay, let's head back down here because it seemed like we could be pretty close to another biome. Now, the nether update, I should mention, isn't complete yet. We still have yet to get piglin structures, so I don't want to load too much of the nether so we can get some of that once that comes out. And also, besides piglin structures, we also will pot potentially have some sort of nether boat. Um, because a lot of people were suggesting a nether boat and then Mojang kind of gave the like wink wink nudge nudge that we might be getting some sort of nether boat in the future. So I, so I think that'd be really cool uh, and especially in situations like this it'd be really useful if we did have something like that but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have something like that. It seems like I'm kind of stuck. I wanted to try to find a sort of nether fortress or something so I'm gonna fart around here for a little bit and see if I can find something cool. I knew I knew people would call me stupid. I didn't think I was this stupid. I have my game on pause right now. I'm scared to unpause. I have two fireballs right here. There's literally a gas here, a gas there, one gas there, one over here you can't see, one there, one there, like two more behind here. There's tons of skeletons. I am probably going to die. So, okay, I'm going to eat my last golden apple, and I just need to get the heck out of here. Here, actually, let's try to go into the netherrack here and try to mine into it. The hard part is I just can't run fast enough to get past these ghasts. So here, I'm gonna try to, let's try to, oh, okay, perfect time for my pickaxe to break. This is, oh God, this is not good. This is not good, oh God, no. <laughs> I'm so, why did I do this? Okay, 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 um, nope, we're on a ledge, okay. I don't, I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm just totally, I'm at a loss right now. I know I'm running towards them, I just don't know where else to go. I think they just shot one of their own kind. I'm just running on this soul sand because it's smooth and it's easy to run on and I can run fast. I just need to find a place where I can quick, quickly get myself under cover. Oh gosh, that, that's not going to happen, is it? Oh no. Oh no. This might be the end. I think this is the end, guys. Oh god, where do I go? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm panicking so hard right now. They're literally all over. And I can't cover myself because they're just going to... I'm just gonna blow myself off if I do that. Let's try to just get in the mountain here. That's not gonna work. Okay, that's right. Blow up the mountain. Okay, block myself in. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, my heart! Oh my gosh, my heart was racing so much. Um, and I think I also just made the mistake of not. Yeah. I didn't write the coordinates of my portal, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of screwed. I think it was a mistake coming here. Uh, <laughs> I, here's the thing. 
I knew there was the nether update. I wanted to explore the new nether. I thought it'd be pretty cool. Whenever I've explored the new nether, I just see a few piglins and hoglins around, and it's not that crazy. It's not that bad. If worse comes to worse, I was just going to mine some nether gold and maybe make myself a gold helmet so they wouldn't attack me. I did not know that in the Soul Sand Valley biome, there were literally hundreds of ghasts because I'm pretty screwed now, so I need to somehow find my way back to the portal without dying, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. All right, well, I finally made it back just in time. This is crazy. I, I, I didn't even realize I was so distracted. I used all my golden apples and food that I was out of food, and I couldn't regenerate hearts. Um, I actually did. I found a hoglin when I was walking around trying to find stuff, and I got a pork chop. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I mean, I guess a hog pig m makes sense, but uh, I don't know. That was kind of weird. I'm just glad I'm home. I need to get some food ASAP before I die. I'm kind of paranoid right now. I really don't I don't want to die. Let's see if I have any food. I honestly don't know. Uh, I can eat the sweet berries. Okay, I have one cooked pork chop. Let's see. And I have some bread, so that'll be <laughs> good enough for now. Uh, I know this wasn't a traditional episode with, like, a big build project or a tutorial but i just wanted to do something a little different i didn't really have anything specific in mind i was hoping to accomplish a little more in the nether that's what was the plan i was going to do a pretty long episode in there but it doesn't look like that's going to happen i think what i'm going to do is maybe do some live streams and episodes soon dedicated to mining and getting myself more gear upgrades enchantments and stuff like that and maybe once i have some enchanted diamond armor tools and weapons then I'll head to the nether. But for now, I think I'm going to stay away. I think I'm going to stay safe and just keep myself protected. I think that was a dumb decision on my part to try to go to the nether. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and again, I do really appreciate you guys for the amazing support lately and so close to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much. But this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.